Hi, I'm going to review this um, Baccarat Rouge 540 by my son Francis Cardigian um, body oil. I think this is one of um, the new products um, from his line. Um, I think it was released um, this year together with um, hair mist and uh, body cream. And um, this is uh, 2.4 ounces or 70 ml and I bought this from um, Saks Fifth. Okay, so um, this is priced at $95. Okay, the one on the left is the hair mist and the one on the right is the perfume. Okay, so let me just um, get on straight to uh, the notes, olfactory description. Okay, so it says jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, ambergris. And um, yeah, so those are the uh, main notes. Guys, I'm not really, really um, professional. Uh, you know, I'm not really good at uh, describing scents, but uh, this is what I could tell you that uh, this Baccarat Rouge 540 is the most amazing perfume. My favorite so far, or my ultimate perfume so far in my, uh, that I have, um, come across and um, I bought this last year there are several reviews there are actually a lot of reviews back at Rouge 540 uh, on the YouTube channel and I think I made one when I first purchased it and this is the uh, 2.4 ounces um, it was $300 plus tax this is actually one of my most expensive perfumes <laughs> and I could not believe that I spent that money on, you know, just a perfume, <laughs> but uh, it's addicting guys. And um, this is all the perfume and as you can see, I've been using it like crazy and when I use this, I don't, uh, I'm not stingy, you know, I just spray it all over. I mostly use this at night. so. It's been a year, so it's almost half, half full, and um, yeah, I I try to use uh, my Jo Malone colognes. I own a few, a lot of bottles, and so it's either that or this one. But when I go to bed at night, this is what I wear. When I go to church, I mostly wear this, guys, and I use it as a hair mist too. Although you shouldn't do that because this contains alcohol and it's gonna dry up your hair but it's so good i've read somewhere that you can um spray your perfume on your brush and then just you know the fragrance stays there until you shower guys it's just so good okay so let me uh move on to uh the main um the main uh, thing that I'm supposed to review before I forget and I'm going to do a storytelling time after this <laughs> okay so this is the body oil I bought this um, Saturday and I've been eyeing this and I've been looking for reviews online and unfortunately I think there's just there is just one review of this uh, particular product and it's by uh, Beauty Meow and she's a, you know, she's great at describing scents. You know, she has the, all those figured out. She has, she's just very poetic and all that. <laughs> and she's really, really good at that. And uh, like, you know, like me, she loves this uh, Baccarat Rouge. And okay, so this is it. So it's a spray. And I, I did um, try this last, I mean, two nights ago, or I think even last night. Okay, so it does um, absorb uh, quickly. The main reason why I do not use lotion, because I hate the sticky feeling. I really, really hate the sticky feeling, and especially if you go out and it's going to rub against your you know, clothes. I just hate it. I just feel itchy all over. But this one, that's why I'm just into um, lotions that uh, dry up quickly. Okay, so this one is absorbed by your skin. It doesn't feel oily or sticky, okay? It evaporates so fast though that you know uh 
it's just absorbed by the skin so quickly. That is just my complaint. And um, and you could barely smell it. Okay, this is it has a very very faint scent to it, guys. But they said that it would be ideal to uh, layer it with this, of course. And I did that, but um, this one. I know would fill the whole room. It's so good. It's so good. I've never had any, I've never received any compliments from other, you know, uh, perfumes other than the Baccarat Rouge. I just love, it was love, love at first smell. But this one, I don't know if it's, um, it, it just doesn't smell like this. It's it, it's just a very, very faint, it has a very faint smell of Baccarat Rouge. And this is $95. So uh, I don't think it's a smart or it's a smart buy. But they said that, you know, you, you use this and then you spray it on top to, you know, uh, it didn't do any good at all. You know, I don't think it made the smell more intense because this is already intense on its own. So I don't think, um, just because I'm so in love with Baccarat Rouge, that's why I had to have this. And I, sm uh, I, I used it on both arms and even let my husband um, smell it. But in a few, few hours, actually, yeah, it just... It just disappeared. The smell did not last at all. I mean, just this one without this, okay? Without the perfume, just this one. And he told me he could barely smell it. And I could barely smell it, guys. And I got a, I got a Prada candy lotion together with my perfume. And that even stayed longer than this one. So I'm just confused. Why is that? And that was free. I got it with a gift of purchase and it just did not last long guys I don't know maybe it's my skin because um, perfume has that tendency to um, dry up easily and evaporate easily on my skin so that could be it but guys um, uh, the feeling of just spraying this on your skin I spray it first on my palms and then evenly apply it and um, they said that it, if you want some points or some parts to have a concentration, then you have, you know, that's where you smell, uh, spray it the most. They like probably two or three sprays on that spot if you want it there. But uh, I'd rather buy another perfume than um, this because this one is $300. And uh, um, if I could get it uh, cheaper from another site, maybe I could do that. And I'd rather um, spend on this than you know this one guys it's it's uh, uh i'm not saying that uh, it's uh it's a useless thing but um you know it's just maybe it's what they call the placebo effect when i tried to um you know spray it on i was like oh wow it feels so luxurious and everything. then after a few minutes it's gone <laughs> So I'm like, okay, I could be here the whole day spraying all over my body. And I just sprayed it on my arms. I didn't even, and on my neck, I didn't even spray it elsewhere. So I'm like, okay, I don't think this is, this is practical. It's not practical. It's expensive. And yeah, so there. But anyway, talking about hair mist, I also tried their hair mist, but I did not buy it. I was so decided to, um, to buy it. But then when I sprayed it on, you know, the counter, my husband said he couldn't he couldn't even smell it at all and I had like four or five sprays while we were there at the counter he said he could barely smell it so I don't know what was going on and I could not I kept I had I had it in a bun so I had to a ponytail so I had to you know remove my uh, the, uh, my scrunchie or rubber band and then you know I couldn't smell it at all so I'm like no no so it's not a good buy now when it comes to the body cream, I also tried on their body cream. It's in a white, um, this Baccarat Rouge white body cream lotion. It's in a white bottle. Plus, it, was it plastic? Something like that. I tried it on it. It did not even smell like Baccarat Rouge at all. It did not smell. The hair mist did not smell like Baccarat Rouge. I don't know. Maybe it's just my nose. Maybe it was uh, tired that time because I've been smelling a lot of things. But... 
you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, I would just say that I would just invest my money on the perfume itself and not buy the others because I think it's just, you know, a waste of money. That's just my take. But, you know, it's like the placebo effect. I'm telling you, when I spray this on, of course, wow, I feel so luxurious because it's a $95 thing. But anyway, it didn't last long. So <laughs> that's just my review. But anyway, let me just tell you why this is my favorite perfume of all time. And I plan to stock up. I'm actually planning to pla planning to buy the bigger, bigger one and just concentrate on one perfume. <laughs> and... Um, my nose doesn't get tired on this. This is my favorite, favorite perfume. I've probably said that like a million times. I'm sorry uh, for saying that over and over again. Okay, so. So, okay. Let me just um, tell you how I came across this um, perfume. I've made a review on this when I first bought it online, okay? And so um, I had a tester sample not tester. I had a sample from uh, Neiman Marcus that came in with my gift purchase bag, beauty samples uh, from Neiman Marcus. And uh, it was in my uh, drawer for a very long time. I for totally forgot about it. It was there for like two years. And then when I was uh, cleaning up, I was like, hey, what's this? So it was in a plastic, like a Ziploc bag full of, of samples. I was like, okay. So I took them one by one. And then I was like, hmm, what's this? I've never heard of this, okay? So because I'm not a perfume person, I'm a handbag person. <laughs> and I only stick to Jo Malone <laughs> because, you know, that's the only thing that my nose could tolerate. I'm very, very sensitive to smells. I'm like, hmm, this smells like sugar cane. And it's like, hmm, maple syrup? Mm -mm. It's like caramel syrup? I don't know. Okay, so... So I sprayed it on and I was like, wow, I was just so amazed. It was just, I was like, what was that? And then I let my kids smell it, my boy smell it. And even my hubby was like, hmm, that smells good. And he rarely appre appreciates a perfumes. He doesn't wear one. And um, he was like, what was that? I mean, I th and then when I when I checked the price online, I was like, baby, it's $300. So Oh, geez, so I had to. Um, it was exactly the same time last year. Uh, I, I was able to sell one of my Louis Vuittons, and then I went on a, a shopping spree when it comes to perfumes. I bought Clive Christian. I bought this. I bought two House of Siage uh, perfumes, and what else? I bought Montal. I bought Tiffany. I bought Chanel Low and all that, but this is the only perfume that I really, really love, guys. Baccarat Rouge, okay? It may sound repetitive, but, okay, the smell on me is, um, the smell is, like, um, it's just so good. It's 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 not just a winter scent because people say that this is a winter scent. We don't have winter here in Florida. So we do have some cold, you know, months from time to time. Not really really cold months. Probably, probably we get cold uh, days uh, probably. Uh, um, I don't know. It's not, not that cold. It's like... It can go down to 50s, but that rarely happens. <laughs> so I smell, uh, I use this all year. I, I, I use it mostly at night when I go to bed. I love smelling nice. And it stays, guys. It stays on your clothes forever. I had a sample of Baccarat Rouge, the small sample, and I put it inside my, my um, eyeglass case, okay? And then every time I open it, the smell just lingers there. And it's been there for how many months? And even when I took out the perfume itself, the smell still lingers. So if you spray this on your clothes, it's going to last forever and ever. And um, on my skin, it doesn't last that long. But I feel like I couldn't smell it. That's, that's the, you know, the amazing part, surprising part. Because... There was one time I used this like seven o'clock. I sprayed it at seven in the morning. I went to a meeting, yada da da da. And then five hours later, it was so funny. I was a, a, 
at the store, and then this woman who was on the other aisle was like, "What is that? It smells so good. What are you wearing?" So I ended up,、um, you know,、uh, writing. Writing、um, the name of the perfume, and she was, and there was a guy. The count, the cashier was there, and he said, "Yeah, that smells so good." And he and he said, "It smells expensive too."、So、I said, "Yeah, it is expensive." And when I told them the price, they were like, "Wow, but it smells so good." So that's the power of Baccarat Rouge, guys. Everybody, it could turn heads. And then that same day, I went to McDonald's. Okay, I went to McDonald's, and I was. This is very very funny. I was washing my hands inside the sink, of course, in the、uh, restroom, and then this this、um, teenager girl. She was probably like seventeen, teenage girl, seventeen around sixteen or seventeen. She just poked her. She just poked her her head inside the room, the restroom. I don't even know if she was coming in or not, and that was really fun. She said, "You smell so good." And she was using a. She had a backpack and everything. And I, I don't know if she even came in. I think she smelled me while I was passing through their table. And and I don't know where she smelled me because she just poked her head and said, "You smell so good." I said, "Thank you." So that was like, I had three, three.、Um, Compliments on that day. Even my teachers, even my son's teachers, were like, "Okay, we were talking about perfume that day because I think it was more concentrated that morning." So I live in the tropics, so I use this all throughout. You know, I really don't care anyway. I could use it all day in the house, and all night. So I love, love, love this one. So if. There's only one perfume that I would stick to all throughout. This would be this. It would be this, and I'm. They said that at some point you're gonna have like an olfactory, you know, like your gut, your nose is going to be tired and all that. But、um, in my head, and you know, I want to smell this all the time. Caramelly, sugar, popcorn, burnt sugar cane, and what I could picture is. Because back home we、um, we we do、uh, make sugar cane in a very very traditional way. We still have the carabao strapped in, <laughs> and then there's this uh, th- uh, all the sugar cane would be inserted in the mill, and then the the carabao would go all around, and there's a big cauldron there with a fire, and then everybody just. You know, gathers the whole the whole committee just gathers there, and then we would dip our um. What is that thing? We we call it.、Uh, I've forgotten the term, guys. It was so long ago. But you know, as it turns into molasses, and then there's the women, the old women would be you know trying to、um, turn or churn up the. Uh, the juices and then the, the cauldron will be filled.、Uh, it's a big, it's a giant cauldron, guys. Of course, it's a cauldron. And、um, and it's just so good, and that's just the memory that it evokes. And aside from,、uh, it lasts long on my clothes, on my clothes, but not long enough on my skin. But.、Uh, It's it's very very it's a very intimate scent also at the same time it projects, but at the same time,、um, I, I could still smell just you know、uh, I could still smell it on myself probably because I I put it on my hair, oh guy oh geez the effect is just glorious it's just. You could just smell it. <laughs> I put it on my brush, and it's so good. But the SA was telling me, "Oh, you shouldn't do that. It has alcohol." Blah blah blah. But then when I smell the hair mist, it's nowhere close to this. Nor is this. It that doesn't smell. It just has a very tiny whiff, and I'm not satisfied. I want it more concentrated. But okay, and the Baccarat、uh, Rouge、um, Intense. What do you call that? Extract. It's four hundred fifty dollars. I'm not sure, and、uh, people have been saying you're better off with the other perfume. So I'd rather buy the big one, guys, and just. <laughs> so there you go. So this is a glorious scent. I love, love, love it. So if you don't own one, please go there. Um, 
this is a safe blind buy because of the amount of um, reviews that you see online this is so good so get yourself one okay but but my advice hmm it's not so good on uh, I'm not so keen on the perfume oil okay all right there you go bye